Okay again, so good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. So I'm making a five series of videos para po sa atin. So magagamit po ito para po sa pag-aaral dun sa week 1 ng module 1 ng mathematics. So ginawa ko pong limang videos para po hindi masyadong mahaba at yung kailangan nyo lang po, pwede nyo pong ma-access. So we will start with this one. I will be trying to, as much as possible, paikliin lang yung content ng video para at least hindi po tayo naiinip. So, yung atin pong module 1, week 1, will be focusing on quadratic equations. So, this is actually an overview on quadratic equation. So, if we will be talking about quadratic equation, kailangan may aim tayo. So, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to, so yung una, ma-define natin yung quadratic equation. Ano ba yung tinatawag natin na quadratic equation? Pangalawa, we have to represent quadratic equation in standard form. So, meron po siyang ibang form, pero what we're going to do now is to represent yun pong ating quadratic equation in standard form. And then, the next one, we have to identify different parts of the quadratic equation. So, may mga parte po yan. Ano ba yung parte yan? Paano natin malalaman? So, we will be tackling this out sa lesson po nito. And last but not the least, we have to know the different methods in solving quadratic equation. So, we have here now several methods. Lahat po yan ay papasadahan lang po natin. So, if we will be talking about quadratic equation, syempre kailangan alam muna natin yung quadratic equation. So, ano ba yung definition na po pwede po natin iligay? So, the quadratic equation is actually a mathematical sentence of degree 2. So, pag sinabi natin degree, ito po yung pinaka-exponent na makikita po natin. That can be written in the following standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are all real numbers. So pag sinabi po natin real numbers, integer siya, pwede po siyang fraction, pwede rin po siyang uh, square root, huwag lang imaginary number. So, and a is not equal to 0. So, mamaya, i-discuss po natin bakit hindi siya pwedeng maging 0. Actually, yung definition po dito may kulang pa. Dapat kasi dito, yung a is greater than 0. So, which means, yung pong una po nating number, or yung value natin ng a nandito, kalapit lagi siya ng x squared, or kung ano man pong variable to, yun po yung a, dapat palagi siyang positive. Kaya lang, dun po sa ibang module, merong pagkakataon na nagkakaroon siya ng negative. So, sabi ko, omit ko muna. Total, we're just starting it out. No? So, dito po muna tayo again. Mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in the following standard form. Pakitandaan, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to zero. Now, we have to understand, mula po nung kayo grade 7, narinig nyo na, algebraic expression, algebraic equation. So, we have to differentiate between the two. So, ano po ba yung pagkakaiba ng uh, expression sa equation po natin? So, pag pinag-usapan po natin dito yung uh, expression po natin naglalabas lang po tayo dito so we have here now expression para kang nagpahayag eh. so nagsabi ka ika ng damdamin mo that is without the equal sign our example here is x squared minus 49 if you notice wala po kayo dito makikita ang equal sign so, this is considered as an expression. So, kung quadratic po, quadratic expression. So, again, para ka lang nag-hahayag uh, ng nararamdaman mo, 
nag-express ka lang kaya nga laging sinasabi paki-express nga yung sarili mo and then, and then if we're going to talk about uh, equation from the word equal so yung nagpahayag ka ng nararamdaman mo meron ng katumbas may equal na nga eh. so equation is actually an algebraic sentence na meron po kayong makikita na equal sign dito. So, kung mapansin nyo yung pagkakaiba, at least mabilis na po natin siyang madidistinguish. At the same time, pwede po natin malaman that we are talking actually about quadratic equation. So, ito po yun. Which means, wala po tayong masyadong makikita na walang equal sign. Okay pa? Now, we have to know what is the standard form of quadratic equation. Nabanggit na kanina actually yung standard form ng quadratic equation. So, balikan lang po muna natin. The standard form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Sabi ko po kanina, kailangan alam din natin yung bawat part po niya. So, Yung nasa cursor po natin dito, yung may ax squared, itong una, ang tawag po natin dito, quadratic term. Excuse. So, quadratic term po yung ating tawag dito. Yung pangalawang term po natin, kung saan nandun yung bx, kasama po yung x, eto, linear term. Ito po yung sinasabi nating degree, ayan no, 2. Ang degree po nitong uh, pangalawa sa linear term, 1. Kaya hindi na po natin sinusulat. And then we have here now, see, this is called the constant term. Kanina po sa atin pong definition, ang sabi natin, A should not be equal to 0. Ang dahilan po nun, kung yung A po natin ay magiging 0, so any number or any variable multiplied by 0, magiging 0 na po ito lahat. At mawawala po yung degree to natin. So kapag nagkaroon po tayo ng value ng A na equal sa 0, hindi na siya papasok bilang quadratic equation. Okay lang po na yung B natin maging 0, mawawala itong nasa gitna. Okay lamang po na yung C natin or the constant term is equal to 0, eto lang mawawala. As long as nag -e exist pa po, ito pong ating... Uh, x squared or kahit ano pong variable ito na may degree 2, quadratic equation pa rin po siya. Okay? So, madalas po, ito yung nagiging problema. Ito yung ating quadratic uh, equation in standard form. Meron pong ibang lumalabas. Pero, hindi po siya naka-standard form. Ano po yung ilang example? ax squared plus bx is equal to c. So, hindi po siya standard form. I'm going to repeat and make it clear para po maliwanag sa ating lahat. And then, we have here now ax squared equals bx plus c. Again, hindi pa rin po siya standard form. Last, we have here now ax, plus, uh, AX squared plus c is equal to bx. Kung mapapansin po natin, Ang lahat po ng pagkakatulad nito, hindi po siya equated sa zero. Wherein, yung standard form po natin, equal po palagi siya sa zero. So, ang isa pong palatandaan natin, na andun po sa equal natin ay zero. And then, nasa kauna-unahan natin yung quadratic term. Again, ano yung quadratic term? Ito po yung meron tayong exponent na 2. Nasa pangalawa, yung ating linear term, yung wala pong exponent, yung ating x. And then, nasa dulo yung ating constant term na c. Uulitin ko po, pwede pong maging 0 ito. Pwede nga lumabas lang, ax squared plus c equal 0. Standard form pa rin po siya. Pwede rin po siyang ax squared plus bx is equal to 0. Again, standard form pa rin po siya. So, dapat ito hindi magiging equal to zero. Now, when we try to talk about quadratic equation, we have here now different methods to solve quadratic equation. So, 
isosolve natin kung ano yung value ng variable. So, kailangan po nating malaman ano-ano yung different methods. So, ang isa sa method ay extracting the square root. That will be the first one. The second one will be factoring. Third one is completing the square. And the fourth one will be the use of quadratic formula. All of these four will be discussed sa following videos po natin. Ano? So, yung second video ko will be about extracting square root. So again, this is Sir Ian and thank you for listening. Sana po may natutunan tayo. So, watch out for my second video.